what is up guys mq here my friend asked me to make a tutorial on how to make this it doesn't look the best it doesn't look the worst it looks all right so let's get started what you're gonna need for this video is cinema 4d and internet explorer go to google images we'll get to that later though all right so let's get started open a new file um, you can put it whatever you want whatever sizes you want if you want a background you might want to put it big if you're just making a little picture you know, you know. so we're, we're gonna just get the materials real quick and then we're gonna start so the first material you're gonna need is the water you gotta visualize load material preset visual visualize materials go to nature and go to water ocean animated the next material you're going to need is your sky go to google images search i search sky you can search whatever you want and choose which sky you want i chose the third one that came up view original image right click save picture as save it wherever you want okay we can close that go back to cinema 4d double click here double click here go to color texture load image and you're going to load the sky image you just saved press yes all right close that the last texture you're going to use is whatever texture you're going to have floating on the water um i'm just i'm just going to put up another text so i don't feel like making a texture so i'm just going to go to visualize materials um i'll put a something glass floating uh roman aqua i don't know what that is never use that so let's try that one all right so you have your textures Next thing you're going to need is you're going to put, go to the light over here, go to floor, and then you're going to go to the light again and go to sky. You're going to drag the water onto the floor and the sky material you made onto the sky, not the water, the sky. Okay. Now, if you do a quick preview or render of it, as you can see the sky well, depending on what picture you took but on this picture I took just now the sky looks pretty bad there's like a half a cloud in there it just looks really bad so what you're gonna do you're gonna click on this material over here and you're gonna play with the length uh, it looks too big to me I want to see the whole picture I really like the way it was in the original so gonna bring it down to I think I'm bringing it out to 10% okay and then you can move it left and right um, okay I'm gonna make mine a little bit wider because as you can see the lines over here that's where it, it cuts off and it starts over again so Why does that keep popping up? What the hell just happened? Okay. All right. Let's pretend that didn't happen. So let's do a quick render, see how it looks. Okay, I like the way the sky is looking a little bit better now. It looks like it's um, going further away, make giving the picture more depth. But as you can see, right here it's just cutting off so I'm gonna go here we're gonna increase the length of you yeah I think you is left and right okay okay now decrease the offset just make it fit in the whatever box you have it in Okay. 
just play around with it until you have something you like. I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't want to waste you guys' time. Okay, next thing we're going to do is MoGraph, Mold Text. We're going to rotate this. You can press the R on your keyboard or just click this Rotate tool. And rotate it here to face towards us. And move it. You can press E or the press the Move tool. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a cap on it, a fillet cap. I'm going to put the radius down to 3. I'm going to change the font real quick to Alien League. I really like this font. I don't know why. I'm going to make it Tutorial. I spelled Tutorial wrong. Tutorial. All right. So I'm going to rotate this again. All right. So now it's facing towards us. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it a little bit so that it looks like it's actually in the water. So I'm going to bring it down, bring it up, and then go to the move tool and bring it down into the water. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring whatever texture I chose for the text. I'm going to drag it on the text. Okay, that might give it an interesting look. I'm not sure. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is make a light. I'm just going to bring it up. I, I want the light to um, look like it's, you know, the sun. So here's what you may want to do. Um, put shadow maps. I just put it straight up a little bit. Put shadow maps off. And I never tried this before. I'm just going to try right now. Go to a yellow-ish. And just bring it a little bit yellow. Not too much. Uh, Alright, let's try it. Now, let's see how it looks. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. But eh. all right, I don't like the way the shadow's coming out, so I think it'll look better if I do that. Just bring rotate it down. Yeah, it looks okay, but you pretty much got the gist of it, guys. That's how to make a quick water look tutorial. Oh, one last thing. If you remember, you put the water ocean animated. If you just press the play button over here and just pause it whenever, it should give your water a different look because the water is animated. It's like mostly for um, animations, of course. But yeah, um, that should be it. You guys could put anything to float. You can put a cardboard box, uh, I don't care. You could build a boat. I don't. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. NQ out.